this part I'll show you how to change your spark plug and change your air filter. Uh, your air filter is on the side of the lawnmower. On uh, this particular Honda lawnmower, it's held on with two retaining clips on the top. You simply push in downward and outward. Once they pop, the oil hinge, the filter hinges at the bottom and comes out. As you can see, this air filter needs to be changed with the large clumps of grass and the clogged ribbing. After you remove the air filter, what you want to make sure is you clean out the air, air filter box. What I use is the air compressor and blow any of the debris away from the air filter box on both sides. Now my air filter box and cover are both clean. I'll take my genuine Honda air filter and install it into the air filter box. Make sure I install the hinge on the bottom of the air filter box and hinge the cover back on into place until I hear the air filter cover snap into place. Air filter is ready for another season. The next thing I'd like to do is show you how to change your spark plug. Your spark plug here is in the very front of your lawnmower. It is the black wire insulated wire and the spark plug is underneath the, the rubber cap. Simply to pull the spark plug wire off is you can use two fingers, your thumb and your finger, but what you want to do is grasp the rubber cap and pull and twist at, at, and pull and twist the, the cap off of the spark plug. It slides right off. Sometimes they are very stubborn but just use a little finesse, it will come out. To remove your spark plug, one tool you may need is a ratchet and a spark plug socket. For this particular lawnmower, the Honda lawnmower, it uses a 1316 socket, spark plug socket. I typically add an extension just to clear the cover and so I can get the leverage on it. Simply install the socket onto the spark plug. and unthread the spark plug. Now your spark plug is out. Make sure you grab your new spark plug. What you want to do is double check your electrode distance and before you do double check it you want to check the specs with your OEM. Check it in your owner's manual and it'll state the proper clearance for your electrode air gap. So I'll double check my air gap on my spark plug, which is where it's supposed to be. And before you install your spark plug, anytime you have a spark plug, it's a good idea to actually oil the threads uh, so that it, it's easier to remove the next time. Drop some oil on the threads. And always when you install your spark plug, do it by hand, just as I said with bolts. You do not want to use your wrench to start a spark plug. My spark, spark, spark plug is in place. Now you can install your cap. As you install the spark plug cap, you want to just make sure that you feel the cap snap onto the spark plug. Spark plug has been changed, ready for another season.